Fallout New Vegas is really just such a special game. Whenever I'm filming these periodic mod videos, really highlighting some of the best mods to come out for the game over the past few months, I just once again kind of fall in love with it, end up doing a bunch of side quests on my own and playing a lot more than was required for the video. And hopefully with this video, I'm going to kind of do the same thing for you. As over the past few months, Fallout New Vegas has been getting a ton of phenomenal mods. 2021 in general has really been pretty next level, a ton of stuff that is just completely new new, new engine level features for the game that are truly bringing it to the next level. So in this video, what I hope to do is give you that recap. If you haven't been following New Vegas modding too closely, hopefully I'm going to show you some of the best it's had to offer over the past little while. And I definitely think for quite a few of you, this will lead to a new playthrough and yet another totally new install. Okay, so I know I was just talking so highly about Fallout New Vegas, but one thing I genuinely dislike about the game, especially making videos on it where I consistently have to make new characters to show things off, it's cool the first time with the Vigor Tester and the Rorschach Test, but after a while I'm like, alright, just let me get through this. Unfortunately, we do have a mod to do that, that with a better character creation. As functionally, what this mod's going to do is make it so that initial entry into Fallout New Vegas is significantly more optimized. You start off in the traditional way, but then when actually using the Vigor Tester, it kind of gives you all of the options right there. So with the typical menu, just assign your special stats, actually tag your skills manually, pick any traits you do want, and actually a pretty cool feature of this one. It makes Wild Wasteland a almost hardcore like game setting. So rather than Wild Wasteland being one of the traits of the game, you could still take two traits and you could actually take Wild Wasteland as an additional one. And then from there, you're just walked off to the door and you could go on and play New Vegas as you always wanted to. It's a relatively simple one, but if you're playing a lot of New Vegas or have played a lot of New Vegas, it just makes that intro to the game a lot more fun. And let's be honest, if we're heavily modding the game, we've definitely done this intro quite a few times and probably haven't gotten to the ending quite as as many times. So next up, we have one of those huge mods. And what that's going to be is KNVSC. And honestly, just from reading the title, you might think it's some kind of New Vegas script extender spin-off or something along those lines. But in reality, this is something pretty special. By default, New Vegas has a problem. The game has a hard-coded limit on weapon animations. So though you can change the existing weapon animations, and you've seen many mods doing this, this limit really hits you like a brick wall when you're trying to add in totally new weapons that will feature their own custom animations when you're trying to add in numerous new animations for one singular weapon, and really just the animation addition process in general is not as custom in New Vegas because of this engine limitation. As you could probably imagine, KNVSC is going to remove that. It's going to allow it so modders can add in totally new weapon animations and even other animations. So this on its own is a rather huge advancement in Fallout New Vegas modding, but really at its core, it's just a framework. It doesn't really do much on its own when you add it to your game. We need other modders to build off of this, which, as you could imagine, in even just a couple of months, people are doing some pretty crazy stuff. Some of the existing top tier animation packs for New Vegas have been getting updates like dedicated weapon animations, this adding in new variation among the weapons, and most importantly, now featuring full animation sets for 39 distinct weapons. And if you're not a huge fan of that particular style, a lot of these animation mods do come down to their subjectivity. There also is the Fallout New Vegas clean animations, which is also benefiting from this now. Folks focusing on more clean and almost true to form vanilla-esque animations, but definitely enhancements. And thanks to KNVSC, now with that mod, 10 additional weapons now have specific animations for them, making them just feel a bit more unique when you use them. So KNVSC is allowing New Vegas weapon reloads to be even more custom on a larger scale, and even applying to things outside of weapon mods. Just Vanilla Sprint now requires this as a dependency and does take advantage of it. But with a project like this, it really really need some time to develop. Unfortunately, just recently in the past couple of weeks, we've gotten some mods from Hitman that are really showing off the advantages of KNVSC, as he did just release the Hit Service Rifle. So what this mod will do is actually add in totally new reload animations for the service rifle in general, but many mods have done that. But also, there's actually a different animation that will play if you are reloading an empty mag versus a mag that is not completely empty. There's an optional file where you can customize it to be a three round burst, but if you do that, it'll also play a different animation for firing three round bursts. The survivalist rifle, which basically has always had the exact same animations in basically every mod, now actually has more recoil. The survivalist rifle fires a larger caliber, and now that is actually reflected 
in the animations. New animations for equipping and unequipping this weapon. There's different animations for when you're walking while hurt, when you're regularly walking or even sneak walking. There are actually jump animations and even jump sneak animations. And simply put, most of that was just not possible before because modders were hitting that animation limit. You'd get a lot of animations that would improve and overhaul the core reload, but wouldn't go much beyond that. And honestly, the coolest part about this all is even though I'm highlighting the service rifle, it's not just for that mod. He has released a ton of mods like this, impacting a ton of different weapons for New Vegas. Some of the other notable ones are things like the hunting shotgun, the 10 millimeter SMG, the nine millimeter pistol. There are custom animations for all kinds of activities. I don't even name them all. Even a custom and new animation for jamming with each of these weapons. This is one of those things that's pretty special for New Vegas because obviously as the game becomes older and older, modernizing it and trying to almost remake it with mods is becoming more popular. And up until now with animations, there was definitely some limitations. The animations in this game looked older, but KNVSC and mods like the hit service rifle are going to take that to the next level. Little details like that with all of these different weapons make them feel more unique and actually give them more of their own identity. And perhaps I'm looking way too deeply into it, but I have to imagine now going forward, you're going to really start to see a lot of mod lists using animations like this because when you have mods like this for every single weapon in the game, it's really going to make a big difference. And actually, just as an aside, another mod that is going to take advantage of these hit animation mods is the B42 Inspect mod. And this, I think, really shows how handy KNVSE is. Basically, what the B42 Inspect mod does is actually give you an ability to look at a weapon's remaining ammo as well as actually its condition. This being really good when paired with a limited HUD mod. And you can just see, when using this with the vanilla animations in New Vegas, it looks a little bit more janky. When using these with the hit animations that are purposefully made with this, with the new features of KNVSE, it just looks a lot better. And again, this is just one of the first mods to really properly take advantage of this. Over time, as more of these come out, more people attempt it, and we even get packs of these, I think it's going to be really something special. But speaking of this modernization, all these new animation mods, another one we definitely have to highlight that came out just a few months ago is 360 Movement. It's actually a pretty simple one. In Fallout New Vegas, when you're moving around, in particular in third person, it just isn't as fluid as the modern Bethesda games. You're pretty limited in which direction, which animations play as you're going from one direction to another. And basically, 360 Movement's going to fix that. It's going to make it so you can properly run in every which direction. This will work for both walking and running and also sneaking and things like that. And in particular, it's going to just help make the game yet again feel much more modernized. That was a bunch of stuff to enhance the New Vegas experience, make it feel more modern. But how about some new things to actually do and experience? And next up, we have a particularly special one, and that is the New Vegas Randomizer. Half of me wants to just say, stop watching this video now and just download this mod and experience it for yourself for the first time because it is completely off the walls and is almost guaranteed to give you a unique New Vegas experience. But if you still need to be sold on it, basically what New Vegas Randomizer will do is basically randomize creature spawn. So which creatures are spawning where, although they will retain their faction. So if it was friendly before, it'll still be friendly after. It might just look significantly different. The level requirements of certain perks, what stats and skills you start with, what items you actually start with, the NPC and creature size. So how big they are, your jump height, the weather and the gravity. And both the weather and the gravity are changing rapidly. So the gravity is constantly going from much heavier to much lighter. And then also NPC inventory. So what items they actually have on them, any merchant inventories, many container inventories, and even several other things. This is definitely one of those mods that you read what it does on paper. You listen to me talk about it in the video, but once you actually get this in game, it is just completely wild. Like when you just start off and you see the new Doc Mitchell, and I don't know what yours will look like. This is what mine look like, but on my next playthrough, it'll look completely different again. And really just good springs in general will have a completely different appearance and sometimes radically different. And even for my own character, I found myself starting out with a cram opener, NCR outfit, and a singular bobby pin, which feels like New Vegas gave me some kind of crazy puzzle to solve. And from there, it's just craziness. You really have no idea what you're going to encounter across an entire playthrough. Like my first visit to New Vegas was wildly memorable because of all the wacky things and just new things I saw. At every corner, you are met with confusion followed by hilarity and sometimes even just shocking challenges that you were not prepared for. It also made me lean a bit more into a kill everything playthrough or kill many things playthrough. Like all of a sudden in Good Springs, you may see some dude running around in power armor or a spacesuit 
in Prim and you're like, hey, that actually looks pretty good and I could pretty easily kill him and take that. So I'm gonna go after that. Not to mention the gravity and the weather just kind of being the backdrop to all of this and hilarious, the gravity in particular. Like sometimes you'll just see your shell casings floating off around you or an NPC you just took down actually floating up into the sky somewhat from the force of the impact. This is one of those ones you just have to download and experience. It's such a crazy and wacky way to play New Vegas. And even if you end up installing it shortly thereafter, I think everyone needs to try it at least once as it really is just something special. But then we do have a cyber affair. This is going to be another pretty awesome cut content mod. Pretty crazy that still in 2021, 10 years later, we're getting cut content mods. It gives you the ability to actually seduce house. Almost like the Black Widow perk with Benny. It adds in a plethora of new dialogue and content and actually adds in one of his cut girls with Marilyn, who is a cornerstone to this quest. Although it's not just haphazardly added in, to actually do this successfully, you're going to have to do some stuff for house first and in addition, actually pass several skill checks. I'm going to leave the final part of this one as a surprise as I think it is pretty cool and pretty interesting, but I think it's one of those cool ones that actually gives you a nice extra avenue in New Vegas, a bit of a more accessible way to take out house that was at one point intended, and overall it's a really high quality one. It's a great one to keep in the background, maybe on one playthrough you don't use it, but on the next one you might be like, hey, I see that dialogue option and I'm going to go down this path this time. Another really great mod to add in, quite a bit of new content to Fallout New Vegas is Mike Burnfire's NPCs and quests. Mike Burnfire being another YouTuber, he makes absolutely phenomenal content, and I feel like there might be this stigma where people see Mike Burnfire and they say, oh, it's just a YouTuber mod and overlook. This is a great mod. So at its core, what it's going to do is scatter out a bunch of NPCs, some of which have unique quests to them throughout Fallout New Vegas. And I like this one quite a bit because it's not too heavy handed and it's also kind of a real scatter of these NPCs. It's not like they're all concentrated in one area or just content in one spot. All throughout the Mojave, you'll find just a new person here or there. They might just tell a joke, they might have a short quest for you to complete, or even some of them do add quite a bit of additional options towards the early game, like helping taking over Prim with some powder gangers and a different powder ganger. And some of the NPCs added in with this one are just hilarious. It genuinely had me laughing in real life as I was playing this. And I feel like it's a nice balance of content. It does feel pretty appropriate in New Vegas. None of it really felt out of place. Even the funny stuff, it landed for me. And again, it did fall in line with that New Vegas humor. But then two of the other mods that are huge releases coming out this year that aren't really as fun to talk about, but you're definitely going to want to download them are the unofficial patch NVSE plus and combat lag fix. So as you could probably imagine, the unofficial patch NVSE plus is going to be an updated version on the unofficial patch, adding in more fixes, refining some of the old fixes, and just in general is going to be that one-stop download to make New Vegas less of a buggy game. And you're definitely going to want to download this one. It's a great one even to just keep in the background. In a similar vein, the combat lag fix is going to reduce the lag you get when going into combat. It would typically add an extra 1 to 10 milliseconds. Basically, when you're in combat and an enemy's health bar did pop up, it would cause lag. It was just an issue with the game and it fixes that. If you play New Vegas, there's a very good chance you're going to have this actually pop up. You'll probably get to combat at some point. And there are two mods that aren't necessarily the most glamorous, but if you want a good experience, I definitely recommend downloading them. Something that is a lot more glamorous is Altitude. But no, it's not a plane mod. It's actually a new weather mod for Fallout New Vegas. But this one actually finds itself occupying a pretty interesting spot. There are a ton of weather mods out there already, but what this one's going to do is not really add in those extreme weather variations or really trying to change up the weather of New Vegas. There's no nuclear storms or anything, but it's trying to add in a prettier version of that vanilla New Vegas weather. And I think it succeeds at doing that, at actually making your game look better. You'll find many weathers that simply feel appropriate for the Mojave, for the region you actually are in. The sunrises and sunsets in particular are are really good looking with this mod, much better than vanilla. Some of the weathers are darkier and gloomier, but nothing completely outlandish. It's not going to be pitch black in the middle of the day. And it definitely has that effect of making the game look better again. At some points, just the lighting around nighttime and at other points with bloom from the sun really is striking and it makes the entire scene and landscape look better. Overall, to me, this is one of those mods that even with just this and maybe an e and or one other visual mod, you could have New Vegas looking way better. And I know there's a lot of other weather mods out there, but I feel like this one will appeal to a lot of people who don't necessarily want to completely transform weather and just want it to be better than it is by default. And that's definitely what this is bringing to the table. And then last but not least, we do have the Great Mojave Interior Overhaul, which is another great one to throw in the background and just improve the Mojave overall. As you could imagine from the title, what 
this will do is overhaul some of the interiors in the game. And overhaul is something that is applicable in some places and not in others. And I feel like that's one of the things I actually like about this mod. So sometimes it does actually add in quite a bit of additional content to some of the interiors of the Mojave, in particular those ones that needed it. But other times it's just a few things around the sides, a few extra props here or there to make things feel a bit more filled out, but not really changing the interiors overall. One of the beautiful parts about this is the sheer number of interiors it's going to impact. It really impacts a wide variety and also does have compatibility with several other mods out there. So it's yet another one that's going to make the world feel a bit better, not going to completely change your experience, but just be a nice little vanity thing you keep in the background. And overall, yeah, those are 15 or technically actually a few more than 15 mods to overhaul Fallout New Vegas. Hopefully you guys found this one informative. Again, this game is just so much fun, especially on PC with these mods. It's pretty crazy how they are consistently doing new things with this. Like KNVSC is really huge for this game and excited to see next time around when I make a video like this, what else has been added. With that said, as always, again, I thank you for watching. I'm actually pre-recording this and I am on a short vacation. So hopefully all is going well with that. By the time this goes up, I'm towards the end of that vacation. But with that said, as always, again, I thank you for watching and I hope to see you guys next time. Later.